fresh water requires so much electricity that the region is turning to a nuclear future. Okay, so by all that, see now what is this here? That impact of various sources of energy on the carbon dioxide, coal, you should see the impact of it here. Okay. Uh, this is shows basically with the hydro power, okay? As you shows you, is a source of renewable energy, but also an efficient way to generate electricity. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that is just basically the, we, we want to talk about the dam also, because especially the, the impact of the dam, we're going to mention that also later on, uh, of this dam, and how old, because the dam, basically most of the dam, their ages, uh, their age of dam is no more than 50 years. And you're going to mention how the impact it has also on the nearby either rivers or uh, uh, cities and so on. We'll discuss that. But this basically upstream catchment at the river, loss of biodiversity, increased agriculture, yeah, because that also sedimentation and the flooding and change in the river flow regime. Okay. Uh, now, basically, I just uh, uh, came to my mind one thing here. Uh, sometimes, of course, uh, to, to, to see one of the impact of the dam, we're going to talk about it later on. Uh, sometimes, of course, they find in the, especially in the freshwater fishes and so on, has been declined so much in some area, about 60%. And they used to think this is, of course, as a result of pollution and so on. But in reality, they find this is a result of the dams, because what if it were, basically when you put a dam some area, that as a matter of fact, you affecting what you call the stream of the river and so on. I'm going to discuss that later on. That reservoir area, radiation of land, presence of large man-made reservoir, pollution, changes in, in mineral uh, content, decaying organic material, okay? Also resulted basically as a matter of fact on the habitat, which was uh, involuntary re, uh, resettlement, social disruption, vector-borne diseases, water-related diseases, diseases, reservoir-induced uh, systematically. Now also downstream of the river, this is all that as the impact of the dams. Huh? Uh, it shows basically that lower water level, poor water quality, lack of seasonal variation, and also resulted in the loss of biodiversity, as already mentioned some example, and also affect basically food security affected on flood plains and use trees, okay, like farming and fishing, and water-related diseases, dam failure and flooding. Also, irrigation areas, increased water availability and agriculture, water with, with changes in flow and mineral content and pollution. So this is just some of the impact even of the, okay, now to see this one here, yeah. The effect, I guess, on the wildlife here, this, to, to, to this one, what else? Uh, we have, of course, the, some of the environmental impact, which is basically fossil fuel has global climate change, air quality degradation, uh, acidification of the lake and forest damage, uh, toxic waste contamination, uh, groundwater contamination, marine and coastal pollution, which like oil, and resource depletion. Now, uh, the impact, for example, of hydroelectric power stations, uh, population displacement, land loss and change in use, ecosystem changes and health effects, loss of biodiversity, and also, also dam failure. So this is, gives you some ideas here. Okay, very good. See now here. Yeah. This is, of course, of using what you call the windmills. Okay, sometimes it can help, but also the windmill also sometimes they have some sort of side effect or even using uh, what you call a nuclear power station. Just to see what the point mentioned to you here in the nuclear power station that knows as we call pros and cons. Okay, uh, with regarding having nuclear energy stations. Of course, there is no carbon dioxide emission, advanced technology, high yield of electric energy, medical application 
for uranium, high efficiency, about one kilogram uranium contain about 2000 times more energy than one kilogram of coal. Now the cause shows you as very dangerous, of course, especially in the area, very dangerous nuclear waste. And sometimes this, this waste may be last for a thousand of years, if not more. We were going to touch on that one also. And high risk of failure resulting in a leakage of radioactive material, uranium mining, and also non-renewable sources of energy. Okay. Uh, in Japan, of course, some of the country which is usable, Japan environmental policy has reflected a slight balance between economic development and environment protection. As for example, it shows as the world leading, leading okay, uh, import of both exhaustible and renewable natural resources and one of the largest consumer of fossil fuels. Okay, the Japanese government takes international responsibility to conserve and to protect the environment. And of course, mention about some of the major issues of power station here. Using, okay. And what happened here, of course, when there is a difference, of course, when you look to a highly advanced countries, but sometimes you have a lot of poor countries, they cannot do all this treatment, okay? Um, this is shows basically already you are familiar with that other human activities polluting the environment, mining, as you can see, basically metals, uh, cosmetics, precious stones, and so on, uh, overseas transportation, noise, fuel spill, sewage, industrial tourism, destruction of natural habitat, gastronomy, trained food, avocado and coconut oil here. Now, this gives us some kind of the slide, okay, to protect our environment, okay. Uh, it mentioned that basically that individual level starts small and basically it has more impact. So basically try to, what you call, to reduce, to reuse, to recycle, all that basically. Plus, of course, the, the, after all, using simply common sense, that in the end, basically what it shows, okay. section here, US process of all, all these issues down here, okay. Uh, each component of ecosystem is connected to other ecosystem through complex relationships. Basically all what I meant from this slide, basically just to what you call, you, mostly you know, it, but at least to, it may able to give more what you call area, which is really affecting the environment, okay, now. Uh, then I'm going to, before I will show you the other uh, things here, basically with regard to the presentation you are making, I'm going to talk with you a little bit here now, okay? All right. Now, uh, all of you have a subject now? I'm asking you. Yes. All right, okay. Um, uh, so basically, um, now, of course, if I, I think in this case, of course, uh, you want to send it to me now or you want to have it to, to what you call to think about it and you send it again. It's up to you. I'm good to send it now. Okay, that's it. Now, basically here, what I'm going in this PowerPoint, as a matter of fact here, now, uh, just first of all, I'm mean, just to, uh, uh, to enlighten a little bit, you know, about your presentation and so on, okay? Usually, of course, uh, as you mentioned, it depends really. Uh, I, I don't know, do you think if we can meet every week should be okay? I can't meet every week at this time. Sometimes I will have a workshop. I just don't know what weeks. Okay, no, because what happened here really, because if we, uh, the reason I'm saying that, how can I explain this? That, for example, because if we have, say, one hour meeting, okay? Now, and this one hour meeting, okay? Now, if everybody try to show what they have done, okay? 
and just you know like uh, informal type of discussion but and everybody try to talk about what they did now if we have about five or six of you each one will talk about five to ten minutes this is already used the one hour you got this point here so what i'm saying here that maybe if, if half of you for example some student will do it this week then the other they do it other weeks so basically for each one we'll have one every other week did you follow what i'm saying here yes okay so basically i'm saying here no okay so what i'm going to say simply i'm going to mention really i'm not going to make a very large restriction but as we go really we have to make some now i'm going to send an email and any of you which has managed to put something by the say coming friday or coming week, then we can meet and for those students, they can talk a little bit about what they have so far done in their project or what they are going or how they were going to deal with it. Okay, then the one who is not able to do it, for example, next week, they can do it the week after that. Is that clear? Is a good idea like this? Yeah, so we email the topics we want to do to you. Oh, yes, yeah, because that's the best way, because then I will know at least what, what you are dealing with, everyone which, which topic is going to deal with, okay? Okay. Yeah, now on this one here, it shows to you some of the guidelines, as you know, just a, not a real guideline, but just, now, of course, title of your topics, uh, then you put, for example, importance, sorry, importance of your topic, the scope, okay, and focus of the investigation. That is there. Then what are the key problem? Okay. Uh, key direction of change, important sources of information. Where are we going to get these? Okay. And, it's, uh, the, and the idea, of course, what happened here, that when someone will talk, of course, going to have some ideas from opposing or different opinion, and that's going to help the person how to work on their project. You follow what I'm saying here? Okay. Now, this is one thing going to mention. Now, the other point, uh, okay. Now, now, the essay at the end, of course, should include title page, their main body of essay, abstract, introduction, argument and supporting the information. And it depends really how, how you deal with it. Sometimes you may have some a subheading you could put this one and also of course you have to support it also with example figures and tables and now of course always you know for example if you are taking figures and table from different sources like journal or research or textbook of course always you have to put down from where did you manage to get this okay as what you call the copyright and then at the end, of course, you have conclusion and literature side. This is just you as what you call how to organize your, what you call uh, your essay or the paper you're going to write. Is that clear? Okay. Can you post a document with all the things that you want from this project? You want, you, 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 you want me to post this for you? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. All right. I will try to do okay. I maybe send it either I will put it what you call under the content of the D2L or because sometimes if I will, sometimes I cannot send it by email because the email will be get too much loaded, it will not go. Okay. We'll see how it's going to go. But anyway, I will send it. I try to maybe modify it a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. And what else are going to make you just give me a second here? We'll mention this one. Then this one here, for example, it gives you for each one, I guess. Okay, the essay, as I mentioned, title, page, all that. Okay, conclusion, literature cited. Now, let me just give me a second here. Okay, now, this one here, title page. Okay, the title page, uh, in which basically, and this is shows to you basically how you write it. Of course, you are familiar with this, but just in case, you got this point here that how to type it in. Can you see this on the on your right side? Okay. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you here, give me a second, just to, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask if you want any kind of question here. Now, this one, this slide here, okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I just, I can't see anything changing on the slides. It could just be 
my laptop, but I I can't actually see anything changing. You don't see it. Okay, just me a second. Let me see because I don't know. Give me a second here. So you are not able to see the slide here. No. No. Okay. We can see the top of the slide. We just can't see the the bottom part. Is it like this? No. Okay. Just give me a second here. Because really, I don't know why it just uh, just see what kind of using. Okay, enhance description here. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, I don't know. Just uh, okay. Give me a second here. Okay. Well, I'm looking for the thing in which I can increase it. I don't see that. I don't know why. Give me a second here. It might work if you stop sharing and then reshare your screen. Yeah, that's going to do. That's what I'm going to do now. Just give me a second here. Okay, I'm going to do it again here. Still, I don't know why. You don't see, still you don't see it, huh? I can see it now. You can see it now? Everybody can see it now? Yes. Yeah. Okay then. So that's what we want. Not like that. Just give me a second here. Okay. Now, basically in this, the title page here, I'm just going to go to, to a roll up here. Uh, just give me a second. Where is it here? Uh, did you see this one here now? The title page. Uh, I'm going to read. Uh, but you, you, you choose a title should be descriptive enough that the reader can understand the basic argument you will you are making. Okay. Do you follow that? Do you read? Can you read this one? Yes. Yes. Okay then. And also the other point that this you I'm going to just, just to give you what are each of these should include, but hopefully I also I'm going to send it to you. Okay, now also to mention that basically that title should also be centered and in a larger uh, font. Okay, that's what you write it. Capitalize the first letter of each word except for article, conjunctions, and preposition. No page number, a stable page in top left corner. That's supposed to be like this. Now, the, the, just inside here, the other slide, second. Okay, now, that will be with regard to the main body of the essay. Uh, when you type, use basically a 12 point font, uh, double spaced, uh, page margin one inch all around, uh, ident new paragraphs, page numbers in bottom, uh, minimum 12, <laughs> well, anyway, you, you have to put at least about 12 pages as a minimum row, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Write out numbers less than 10. Do not use first person. Okay, like I or me. 
Uh, of course, you have to use a scientific name and within the text, like this one, you put like, for example, Smith 1997 or, okay. If you have two, you can put them, for example, Smith and Jones, but if you have more than two, means that paper you are dealing is there are more, more than two people. In that case, you call Smith et al. and you put, okay. And if you have, for example, a textbook or, or from United Nations, then you can put the title and you put the eight, uh, the year. Anyway, I won't send all that to you here. Now, just to talk another point here. Do you have any question, please? And the epistrat, of course, and the epistrat should be, your epistrat should be about 200 to 250 words. No references. Summarize the major points from, from each section of your essay. Okay, that is means short statement giving background information and context and the main argument being made what call and the primary conclusion that was to be your what you call. It's already the same thing here. Okay. Now, if you want to talk about the just second here conclusion, okay, and the conclusion basically this one here that is start with specific conclusions and end up the section with border conclusion. You follow that? Uh, you can mention future lines of investigation that are being or should be followed, or should have already been mentioned in the essay and do not introduce a new information. You got this point? That basically, roughly, how it's going to work out the conclusion. But of course, that is when you're going to talk in, in each uh, session. Usually, this is going to be added again and again until, of course, everyone get it more clearer. Okay. Now, literature cited, you can use journal articles like this one here, books or textbook, website, Though I don't like to use too much website, you can use website because really website, not all the time, the information there really is what you call, is it true? In spite of some of them are, okay? And also if there are special organization, put down and also the name of the website. So basically this is the point I think try to, okay? And finally, I guess here, okay, this one here. Uh, what not to do, let all your idea hang on out in your brain and write them down right before the essay is due. That basically just to help you when you want to do your own, okay, presentation. And let the flow of your thoughts be the flow of the essay. And because rough draft and outline cramps your style. You got this point here? Well, that's up to you when I said do not let anyone read your rough draft, but sometimes you may basically try to help that we should be okay. Well, this is roughly what I want to, to say in this, what you call in this meeting here. I hope you find it useful a little bit, okay? And I'm trying basically try to, uh, what you call, to send you this. And if, if there is any modification also, I will let you to know. So do you have any question? I just have one. Are we presenting the essay too, or are we just like when you say presentation, you mean just the essay as a whole? No, usually what happened here, I'm, I'm going to, now, when we, when we meet every time, this is just, you talk about a little bit about your project. Okay. You follow what I'm saying here? Yeah. Now, and this talking is up to you if you want to make one or two PowerPoint or whatever to, in your presentation. And basically the, the idea of this in every to help this, to it or everybody when you have a question and so on is basically to help the thought and of course it helps the search for that essay. Now, uh, this is of course, I'm going to take what you call for each one of course, I, I do do a little bit of marking and this what you call presentation each time. But the final presentation, that's what you have to do. The final presentation will be presented your essay as a whole, the as a PowerPoint, okay? and. Uh, for about 10 minutes or 12 minutes, okay? So that, and then of course he said me, at the end also he said me the report itself. And then basically this is what I will do what you call the, 
the marking, the final marking of your project. Is that clear or not? Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I, just give me a second. I may have a slide here in the beginning where maybe I didn't show it. Just give me a second here. Uh, something like that. I could modify it. Can you see this? Yeah, I can. Now. Yeah, because I'm giving all of this say about thirty percent of value. Okay, I may change all this. So. I, the essay means at the end, when you presented the essay as a whole PowerPoint is about 10%, okay? And I may give about 10% or less about presentation, but of course I have to work on something for you when you send me the report. Because as as in the end, of course, I showed it to you before, they will send me the student something like that. You got my point of view here? Yeah, that is okay. But of course, at the same time, because really in the essay, I know sometimes because also it helps the student help yourself to do presentation yourself. You got this point here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, that's all. I don't know if you have any more questions. That's it. Okay, so basically by this, I will basically uh, try to end our meeting, okay? And I think I will talk to you again, maybe on Tuesday, I guess, when we start our lecture, okay? Thank you. You're welcome, take care, bye-bye. Thank you. You bye-bye. Thank you, have a good weekend. The same for you, for everyone. See now, to end this one here. Oh, here it is. Okay.